nothing. Okay. Your elbow, like, I think so you said that now. You want to, like, to get as many hag fish. Right. Look, here's the and first one. He's going right in. Core, Dinner's open. Breakfast is served. Like Look at this. Oh, uh, yeah. He wants it. He's like, yeah. Figure it out, man. <laughs> How do I get in there? Get me some of that. Mm -mm. But Fabio said that it's Just got like this. a hinged spring flapper on it that opens and closes. So is uh, he not strong enough to push in? I guess not. Oh, poor little oh. hagfish. See, then he comes back and he's all sad. <laughs> poor little most disgusting thing in the ocean. <laughs> You do, you do feel a little sorry for him right now. They always remind me of the the monster from Tremors, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely some salmon. Mallory was saying that um, uh -huh. part of the scientific study is looking at collecting the tanner crabs, which we saw coming in at the oh, other side. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The round ones. Mm -hmm. So what you're looking at is a hagfish. And again, a good reference for um, looking up some of the organisms that are on the substrate here at Barkley Canyon is the Marine Life Field Guide, which is available on the ONC Ocean Networks Canada website. Um, oh, he wants it so bad. I know. He's, gonna get He's trying to He's squeeze through that little tiny square. On the watch right after ours last night, when they were bringing up the bait trap, we were talking about hagfish a little bit. Oh, come Even on. though we didn't bring okay. any up that time. Um, Look at they're that. Actually big source of interest in different materials labs right now because the slime that they exude has some sort of a, a it's like a two-tone weave of fabric threads almost running through it and they're trying to use it to create synthetic materials um, and they're also trying to mimic certain properties in the slime that are used in medicinal blood coagulation studies um, so as horrible as I think they are they have they have their uses in case it isn't clear to anyone bubble. listening why these things are so awful, basically their only defense mechanism is by sliming. So if something tries to eat it, they sli they exude this mucus slime that basically chokes whatever's trying to eat them to death. I think it's horrifying. <laughs> I mean, it's extremely inventive and points for creativity, but... <laughs> but really prolonged. Oh, look at them all coming now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's bring up a whole box of those. You get to unload those, Mallory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hagfish buffet. So some people are wor wondering what type of a uh, trap this is, and it's uh, initially, well, it's called a, we're referring to it as a crab trap. Um, there are a number of studies that are looking at some of the tanner crabs that um, we're not seeing them right he right now. We're seeing a bunch of hagfish that are very interested in the salmon bait that's inside of the crab. But Mallory was telling us earlier that um, they're doing some studies looking at stable isotopes and um, also for, for the uh, tanner crabs and also taking these push core uh, sediment samples back to the lab to look at some of the microfaunal communities within the sediments. Look at all that slime they've left on the... It's funny that they have the... I mean, you would think they're just so one, singly, singularly yeah. focused, they would just get away. Eat. Mm -hmm. Watch this guy. Oh, Can yeah, I go in? he's a lot smaller. Yeah, go for it, Mary. Well, this little guy might just sneak right in there. Maybe he's going through the wrong hole. He needs to go up a higher hole. Higher hole. If anyone's interested in another hagfish fun fact, They've been virtually unchanged for about 300 million years, so they've survived multiple mass extinctions. So despite being virtually blind, not really having teeth, and having one defense mechanism of slime, they're doing okay. <laughs> for anyone who felt bad that they're not getting a salmon feast right, <laughs> right. now, they're doing just fine. Um, so this is bad news, good news for Fabio. The bad news is we didn't get any in the trap. The good news is we didn't get any hagfish in the trap. <laughs> um, they tried. Yeah. It wasn't for lack of trying. But, uh... And we got some good video if anyone was interested in hagfish. Yeah. And happened to be a biologist studying them. <laughs>